Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Avalon and we are back in Valheim. And yes, we have another seed discovery video for you today. This one's going to be a pretty unique seed. I don't know really how to categorize this one. It has a maypole. Um, I don't know if this is a challenge seed, if it's a, a build seed. I really don't know. Um, as you can see on the little mini-map, we are near a swamp, which is cool. So, before I get going too far, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel, and I really appreciate the support. So, here is Maypole number one. Yes, there are two Maypoles. Now, this one's in an interesting location. Because you got this little stream right here, which is cool. You got a maypole up on a hill. And yes, through the woods there, that is the swamp. Um, it's not a huge swamp, but it's big enough. Um, you've got some resources in there. You can see we've got... Um, is this a crypt? No, it doesn't look like it's a crypt. But you've got some resources in here. Uh... We'll look at the map in a minute, but you're right on the cusp of the swamp. And in this direction, you're right on the cusp of Black Forest. And that goes back a little ways, too. And there's copper right here. So, you know, there's a, there's a tower right here. This can be converted pretty easily to a decent little base if you want. Um, but, yeah, so... And it, of course, abuts the swamp, right? So, this is a very unique location for Maypole. You've, you're, you're in the meadows, a little strip in the meadows. You've, you're right near the swamp, and you're right by um, the Black Forest. Pretty cool. Now, the interesting thing about this is, and yes, Bone Mass is over here, by the way, which we will see on the, the seed discovery, uh, the seed... Um, map generator whatever it's called uh we'll see it there so you are very close to bone mass there is a second maypole okay now this is all black forest back here okay so let's go take a look at that other maypole real quick um that one we just were at was the better maypole um this one is pretty out in the open though so it's pretty cool um You've got way more resources. You're out in the open. You've got this nice river right here. Um, unfortunately, you've got this huge gorge right here. Uh, you're going to get some necks down there. Um, I don't know that I like this for a great for a build, but um, there's your river to the ocean. Might be good for a port. And yes, there's more swamp right down here as well. Um, so both of these are in pretty unique location, I think. I think this is... That's why, you know, when I started the video, I wasn't really sure how to categorize this. I'm going to call it a challenge seed, but I think these are really neat locations. Now, you're not super close to the ocean. You're not super far either, okay? I mean, there's the ocean there. You're not going to get through there with the swamp on this, on this uh, maypole. But on the other one over there, you could probably cut down. And that cuts through the river right there and gets you into the open ocean. So this is pretty unique. Uh, two maypoles, fairly close. I don't know how you'd play this. Okay, so I don't know if this would be good for a group, if this would be good for, a, you know, a duo challenge. I'm not really sure, but it's got two maypoles pretty close. You're right on, right on the border of... A dark forest and a, and a swamp. I think this would be a pretty good challenge seed. Anyways, let's look at the map. So, here we are. This is the spawn. You can run up to these maypoles, okay? So you don't have to get into cheat mode. You're going to have to go through a big chunk of the dark forest, though. You've got some mountain biome as well, so that's positive. Here are your maypoles, okay? Here's that one that was in, in the clearing there. And here's that little river that opens up to this ocean into this ocean so I, I'm not sure how close it is here or up here I don't know if you can get through but I think if you are uh, industrious you'll be able to dig your way out 
Here's the one that I'm at currently that's right on this swamp and then right on this dark forest. So that's that. Let's look at the bosses. There's that bone mass. Okay, that's pretty nice. It's right there. Otherwise, they're not great. However, you've got a couple of cool things here. So number one, um, you've got the bone mass here, so you know you're going to be heading that way anyways. You're going to be going west. All right. Um, you've got this little patch of meadow right here. Uh, and then you're going to float up here to the elder, and there's your motor spawn. Okay. Now the nice thing about this motor is, is that it, it extends the mountains into the dark, into the black forest here. Um, so you don't have to run through the plains. Okay. So I, again, it's not fantastic, but it's not that bad. Now the, the cool thing here is you've also got a Yagloth right down here. Okay. So really. Not great, but not horrible. Now, the traitor. He's over here. There's one over here. Um, you know, you're going to have to get on a boat for him. The queen. I didn't show you the queen. Um, she's up here. There's a Yagloth up here as well. I mean, if you really want to sail, you know, you've got, your, you've got a group, cluster of bosses up here, which is fine. She's also down here. You've got a traitor. You've got a you know, bone mass down here. I really think you're going to head up this way. Okay, because you're going to have the Elder, then back to bone mass, then then motor, and then Yagloth right here if you want it. There's another Yagloth right here. I, I, I think this is going to be the way to go. So, yeah, you're going to do some sailing, but it's not like it's going to be hard sailing, right? You've got way, a lot of open water right here. So that's pretty good. The trader, that might be a little bit of a pain, but what are you going to do? Let's take a look at Leviathans. Uh, things get better here. You're going to try to get here anyways, near this bone mass, and build a little port right here. That's what I would do. I'd build a stone base here, to def you know, good defensive position. Build a port right here. Then I'm going to grab these Leviathans to get my Abyssal Harpoon. Make sure I get the Elder, an Elder base somewhere near there established motor. I think that's the way to go. Tombs and crypts, always the big... Not great. It would be awesome if there were some tombs and crypts in this swamp. There are none here. That is horrible. Not gonna lie, that's that's really bad. Considering that you, you've got these two maypoles right there, it would be fantastic if you had some... Um, sunken crypts right here and even this bone mass you've only got one now you know you, you got one it's better than zero Th there's a little island up here you're going to be able to get sunken crypts but again you're gonna have to get on a boat wouldn't it be great if there was a couple more right here that you could just run back to your base that's that's a little bit of a downer um this dark forest has plenty. This black forest has plenty. This black forest has plenty. You're not going to have any trouble with black forest crypts on this seed. Um, there's plenty around your spawn as well. Troll caves for portals. Decent one up here, which might set you up well to farm this little island here where we did see plenty of crypts. Okay, so that's not horrible. Plus, there is a little bit of planes right there. That might be, <clears throat> excuse me, that might be a pain because it's only going to take one death mosquito to make your 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 day not good. <laughs> um, a couple up here. This might be good uh, to get you going on 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 the motor spawn up here. You know, uh, the troll caves aren't great, but this one right here is probably the best one because that'll enable you to get a portal set up in that troll cave close it off and then you've got access to these sunken crypts and then maybe you can sail out of there and come back to your base frost caves let's get rid of these frost caves um we've got a couple on the starter island which is great um if you want to farm that stuff up this motor location is full of them which is fantastic i'm not going to really look to too many other places you've got another one up here and you've got one up here by this yagloth um 
that, that's enough. You always want to find them in the motor location. Because I know a lot of people, I don't know how, how much you explore, but once I find motor, I pretty much farm the heck out of that mountain location. Let's find the dragon eggs. And again, <laughs> this isn't so great. Um, you've got three up here, which you need for motor. It would be great if there were more because you got to haul them up there. Now there's a couple up here that you can get. You've got a couple on your starter island as well. So it's not horrible, but what you want to normally see is you want to see three or four right around motor and you don't have that, but it's not horrible. There's enough. So what else can I show you here? Let's take a look at the piggies. Do we have any piggies? Um, some again you, you, it, it, it's going to be a challenge seed you don't have a lot near these maypoles and that's probably where you're going to want to build i mean it is what it is um with the beehives let's i always like to do beehives because it's a good early food you're going to have to gather them at at your spawn okay so before you run up to these maypoles get your get your get your queen bees you know, I usually like to have four to six. That's enough. You just get them producing as soon as you can, and before you know it, you'll have a surplus of honey. But, uh, yeah, you're going to have to do that early. That's probably going to be ta one of your first tasks to do on this seed. Um, Tarpets totems. couple up here. Uh, one tar pit here, one tar pit here. There's a couple of totems here by this Yaglov. That's fine. There's a couple of more totems here. You're not going to have to sail all over creation to get your, your totems. And you've got a couple of options when it comes to Yaglov. You've got one way down here, which I kind of like that location. It's small. You've got a nice little area to fight in here. You don't have to worry about a whole bunch of um, extras. You can clear this little island probably and then just focus on that fight. Or if you're coming up here anyways, because you, you cleared the motor and the elder, um, you've got some totems up here that you can grab and drop in there. Uh, the problem is, is that you, you're going to be pretty close to the to the mistlands here. Um, but there's Queenie right there, so not horrible. And then you've got this little, little totem right here at the end. Um, this should be an interesting little run right up here because you've got dark black forest right here as well. So, not bad. Let's take a look at some of the Mistlands stuff. Now, full disclosure, I have I've I've visited the Mistlands to um, get a feel for the area. I haven't done a whole lot of um, playing there though, because I don't want to ruin it for myself. All right, Miss Land's gonna is the new end game. It's probably gonna be that way till the end of this year, until we get Ashlands. So, I'm just gonna leave it at that. H here's the layout again. Y you're gonna go north, right, from your from your base here, right. So you're gonna you're gonna grab this elder. You come back from Bone Mass. That's done, and then you're gonna come back up here for motor. And there's your Yagloth right there, and there's your Queen right there. Enough resources there to get it, all of these bosses done. So, uh, maybe I'm going to switch a little bit on on how I first presented this and say, um, maybe the bosses aren't so horrible, if you head that way. Um, but I think, overall, for, for Maypoles, this one's fairly unique because it's surrounded by... Black Forest and Swamp. Um, you don't find that that often. Uh, I've looked at a lot of Maypole seeds. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know I've done a lot of Maypole uh, location discoveries. Uh, that's been a bread and butter staple for my channel for a while now. And uh, I, I haven't found any like this one. Not maybe a couple that might be close, but this one's pretty unique. And then you got that second maypole. That's why I decided to do a video on it. So overall, I would give this one probably a six and a half or a seven. Um, 
the bosses are better than I anticipated, especially if you head north. We saw that on the map. The fact that we don't have any sunken crypts in this uh, swamp biome right near our maypole sucks. That's definitely a half a point to a point off right there. If there were sunken crypts in that in that swamp right there, this would it would be an eight or an eight and a half. But there aren't, and you've got to finagle your way to the water so you can sail because you're going to have to sail. So overall, I'd say this is a challenge seed, uh, not a bad one. Um, you're going to have to sail, which is fine, but your bosses are not all over the place. Trader's a little out of the way, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. This is a little bit different than the maypoles I've done before, so definitely give me some feedback. You want to continue to see unique maypole finds like this? Do you want me to stick to the ones that are right on the water? Do you want to see, uh, I don't know, just... You'd let me know what you want to see, and I'll go find it. How's that sound? Anyways, I really appreciate you taking your time to watch my content. As always, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you again soon.